Welcome back everybody, How to Tech Studio here with a new video of showing you how you can get your tweaked and hacked apps onto your iOS devices. If you are brand new to our channel, make sure you hit that big red subscribe button and set up the notification bell to get all of the greatest new stuff sent directly to you. Now, as we said, we are going to use a place called Alt Store. Now, Alt Store is the really, really great way of sideloading different apps that basically App Store doesn't allow you to have. Now this is going to be a complete tutorial so stay tuned for the whole video and we have loads of different steps to do and we're going to make them as simple as possible. The first thing to note that is this is going to require a computer whether it's a Mac or a Windows so make sure you have that ready. If you don't have a computer we do have ways of getting tweaked apps in the description for you however they can be revoked at times. This is a no revoke method this will never get taken away so let's go ahead and get into it let's go over to the pc and get that straight away let's go ahead and get alt store onto your devices so as, as you can see this is the pc part this is either using a mac or a windows 10 if you're using a mac then stay tuned and at some point i'll say if you're using a mac do this and you need to be using windows 10 anything windows 8 7 or lower unfortunately this doesn't work for you i'm but let's go ahead and get your device sorted. So the very first thing, obviously, connect to Wi-Fi, very important. And then the next thing you're going to need to do is have iTunes and iCloud installed as a direct install, not as a Windows app. That is because if you use a Windows app from the Windows Store, it doesn't work. So this is really, really important. If you go to the link in the description, it is the official iTunes and iCloud download store. And you're going to need to choose either your 32-bit or 64-bit bit device. If you're not so sure what um, computer you have, if you go down to the bottom and type this PC, right click that and then go to properties, you can then see what operating system you are currently running. Mine is a 64-bit operating system. So once you know what operating system you are using, you can then choose which one is relevant to you. Click on the download button, either for 32 or 64, and then it will start to download to wherever it saves for you. Mine automatically saves to my desktop. Yours might also automatically download to your downloads folder within your documents. So wherever it downloads to, what you need to do is run it when it's ready, install iTunes, and then you're good to go. And then you need to also do the same for iCloud. However, iCloud is a little bit different. Click on the iCloud link and then click on iCloud for Windows. This will take you to another page where it will try to get you to install it from the Microsoft Store. We don't want to do that. Okay, so you need to go down here to where it says download iCloud for Windows on an Apple's website. Now, it says Windows 7 and Windows 8. Actually, it also works for Windows 10. So you need to right click this and then click open in new tab. And for some reason, that starts the download. If you try and click on it normally, it doesn't work. So right click on it and then open it as a new tab and it will start to download iCloud. Again, that will download to wherever your downloads go, either to your desktop where I like to put them or to your downloads folder on your computer. So run those, make sure you have iTunes and iCloud installed on your device, not as a, comp as a Microsoft Store app, but as a normal app. So that's the very first thing you need to do. If you were doing this on Mac, then you are completely fine. You don't need to do anything. You can have the normal installs. Now, the next thing to do is go and get Alt Server. Now, you need to go to altstore.io. Again, the links will be in the description. And here's where the differences are. Mac, you can, end, you can download via this one. And then Windows, obviously Windows 10, you download it via here. Now, Windows Server is the way of getting Windows. Um, so Alt Store, Alt Server is the way of getting Alt Store onto your device. So you need to download Windows. If you just click it, it will then start to download for you in the bottom corner. Obviously, I'm using Chrome here. If you're using something else like Edge or Fire, Firefox, if they're even a still a thing anymore, um, I would always recommend using Google Chrome because it's easier to download things. So, Alt Installer has downloaded. Again, if it's already downloaded to your downloads folder, I would move it to the desktop just to make it easier for you to manipulate it about. So, what you'd want to do is this is a zip folder, okay? So, I want you to right click it and then click Extract here. All right, so that will then extract both folders, files onto your desktop. You can then right, double click the setup.exe to start installing Alt, Store, uh, Alt Server. So you can click next, then you can click next because that's just installing it, and then click next again. Wait for it to install onto your computer, and it has been successfully installed. So you can close that here. Now, obviously, there's no way of running this because it's not an actual app. So the first thing you're going to do is type in search Alt Server. Okay, you'll see there it says Alt Server, which is an app. So you can click it or press enter. And at the bottom right hand corner, you will see this diamond shape. 
Okay, this diamond shape is really, really important. That is Alt Server. Here's where we can now plug in our device. So I'm going to just plug in my device now. So you plug in your device ready to go. And then you want to go to iTunes. So go and open up iTunes and wait for it to open up. iTunes is notoriously slow on Windows machines. So we'll just wait for that to open up. Now, here's where you need to trust either your computer trusting your device or the other way around. Um, I've got the latest iOS 14.4, oh, there's a new update, I'm running 14.3 at the moment, I'd, I'll do that later, but this works. Okay, so again, here's it's syncing, so it's all trusted. If you need to trust it or put in any details, then please make sure you do that, because what I want you to do is then go to, that's fine, go to your device at the top left-hand corner, and then underneath all of your details, you need to scroll down and click sync with this iPhone over Wi-Fi. That needs to be ticked, okay? So tick it, and then click sync and apply, and you're good to go, okay? So you can click done, make sure that that's all ticked. Now, I like to leave iTunes open, just because sometimes there are, um, this actually fixes problems if there are any, so just leave iTunes open for now, and you can minimize it. Now we can go down to the bottom right-hand corner again, and where you see your little diamond shape there, you can right-click it, so right click the diamond or just click it normally and then install store and you will see your device there. If you can't see your device or anything, you haven't then trusted it before. So you need to make sure it's all trusted. So click on install all store and you'll have your Apple ID and password. Now you need to put in your real Apple ID and password because what happens is it allows you to use your Apple ID and password to then um, sign different apps. OK, so I'm just going to put in mine now. Here we go just so you it's perfectly safe and then click install so we'll wait for that to happen and then at the bottom right hand corner hopefully there will be something apps and apps with all store other devices will stop working do you want to continue yes okay so click okay and in the bottom right hand corner we will see that installing Alt Store is happening to my phone so momentarily on my phone you will see that Alt Store starts to open shouldn't take too long because it's not a massive file, so it shouldn't take too long. It gets done pretty, quick, pretty quickly. And there we go. It has been installed onto my device. Now I have the opportunity to install loads of tweaked apps onto my device running perfectly. Now that we've got Alt Store onto your device, let's go ahead and try and open it. Because if you try and open it, it says it's untrusted. So you need to go to Settings. Now go down to General, scroll all the way down to where you see Device Management, and you'll see your, your username for your Apple ID. So click Trust, and then Trust, and then when you go back, Alt Store will now open onto your devices. If you'd like to send, uh, allow notifications, you can. And to access other devices on your network, click OK, so it can then connect to your, your um, laptop or computer. OK, so we're ready to go to get all of those tweaked apps onto your devices. Now that you've got Alt Store onto your device, you are ready to go and get tweak taps onto your devices. Now, that was going to require a completely different tutorial because there's a few steps to do. So go ahead, check the link out in the description or in the comments because that is the tutorial you guys need now to install those apps. And I will see you guys over there. So go and click that now and I will see you there.